Welcome back. Court is currently in session, and we need to get to the bottom of who killed the magistrate. That was it, wasn't it? I was trying to remember like his actual like character name within the show, etc. But anyway, so yeah, F F W I W. We took a break. Ruffle. Okay. But it was only 15 minutes. 15. That's only 13 in base 12. I'm gonna press him on that. What were you doing for those 15 minutes? Because he was having lunch. He, he lied about the fact he was not having lunch, didn't he? Eating my team own steak, what else? There were two plates on that table. Oh, right. Uh, the, the other one was with the divas. Uh, sorry. Diva square. Uh, yep, plate. D. The producer. To eat a T-bone steak in 15 minutes, that's quite a feat. Not enough time for someone to say, commit murder in Studio One, lol. Why is that? It's only just enough time to eat a T-bone steak, if you ask me. Steams. I have to say, you look like a guy who gets through his meals pretty fast. Oh, I was facing a cold, slightly chewy T-bone steak. Cold, you say? Even I have to take my time eating that kind of food. LOL. Well, Phoenix, that testimony was too short to bring any kind of useful information out of. All you have to do is prove that he was able to go to Studio One in that time. Oh, great. Is that all? Yeah, we took a break. All right, so right, 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 right. What can we present him with? Oh, no, I know. Sleeping pills? Like, no? Hmm. Hmm. The guide map. I suppose we could throw the guide map at him. It was only 15 minutes. 13 in base 12. Not enough time for someone to say commit murder in Studio One log. I suppose the map? I guess we could present. Oh, I was going to present that. Yeah, I guess we could present that. This evidence clearly reveals the contradiction in that statement, Your Honor. How exactly are the... Are, are that evidence and the statement just now related? They aren't, are they? Not at all. Mr. Wright, please think the facts over before making accusations. Damn it! I don't think that won me any points with the judge. Not enough time for someone to say commit murder in Studio One, lol. Something that proves they could. What could prove that? It's only just enough time to eat a T-bone steak if you ask me. Steams. Hmm. Hmm. That is 230. Hmm. I don't know. That maybe? That's what I'm stuck on. Your Honor. That statement contradicts this evidence. It does? I don't see anything contradictory. Damn it! Huh? Really? Objection overruled. Try to think before you make accusations, Mr. Wright. Oh dear, oh dear. Whoops, that didn't go so well. What's contradicting? That's only just enough time to eat a T-bone steak if you ask me. Well, Phoenix? That testimony was too short to wring any kind of useful information out of. All you have to do is prove that he was able to go to Studio One in that time. Oh, great, is that all? How? How? Hmm. It's only 15 minutes, 15, that's only 13 in base 12. Not enough time for someone to say commit murder in Studio One, lol. It's only just enough time to eat a T-bone steak if you ask me. We'll press him on it. I have to say, you look like a guy who gets through his meals pretty fast. Well, I was facing a cold, slightly T-bone. We've been through this. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. It's like I can't think what evidence we'd have to present. But that's not gonna help me. That's not gonna help me. Hmm. Can't think of anything that would help me. Like, the map made sense to be like, look, you could get there to there in that time. So I don't know. What time exactly did you take this break? Oh, that would actually help. Hmm. I'd say it was from around 2.30 or so until 2.45. 2.30? That's the time of death. 
So he could have gone to Studio One, killed Hammer, and come back. See, why would I think to have pressed him on that? I don't know. I guess it's possible time-wise. But it was only 15 minutes. 15, that's only 13 in base 12. Hmm. What were you doing for those 15 minutes? Eating my T-bone steak. What else? Two plates on the table. Yeah, we know this, we know this. Um, hmm. Why is that? Oh, haven't we had enough of this pointless line of questioning? No, Your Honor. The testimony to this point has made one certain fact painfully clear. People in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder. It was impossible for any of them to go to Studio One. What? Something wrong, Mr. Wright. Surely you aren't suggesting one of these people in the trailer went to Studio One. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, Phoenix, this is critical. Think about it before you give your answer. Feels like it was almost making me go this way. You claim someone from the trailer went to Studio One. I claim it. And claim it loud. I agree to let everyone in the trailer off the hook, and the trial is over. Mr. Powers will be found guilty for sure. The victim was murdered at 2.30, the exact time of the break in the meeting. For 15 minutes, murder is certainly a possibility. Hmm, I suppose you might say that. Alright, I've got the judge thinking now. Tsk, tsk, tsk. Never a dull moment with you, Mr. Wright. What's your point, Edgeworth? You've been doing your homework, haven't you? Look at the court record. The court record? Surely you knew that from 2.15 to 4, half between the studios was blocked. Miss... Mrs. Monkey's head had fallen across the path. Oh, you're right. True, the break in the trailer meeting came right at the time of death. However, the path from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. The fallen Mrs. Monkey Head barred the way. It's actually Mr. Monkey, but Edgeworth has a point. And somehow I feel no desire to correct him. No counter argument is right. I'm afraid you lose this round. What? I believe we have seen enough evidence. I would like to relieve Mr. Manella... Mr. Manella from the stand. Hmm. What? It's over? Oh, Very well, court's opinion on this case is as follows. We found that there were several other people in the Studio 2 on the day of the murder. It is also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio 1. They therefore have no relation to this case. I disagree. Furthermore, in regards to the photo of the Steel Samurai, given the size of the costume, no one other than Mr. Powers could have worn it that day. All that is lacking is decisive evidence that he is the one who did it. If we had that, I'm afraid I would have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor, the prosecution is pleased to announce that we indeed have decisive evidence. A witness. What? 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 what, what? Who is this witness, Mr. Edgeworth? My witness saw the very moment when the steel samurai skewered the victim. Order! I will have order! I see. The court will take a ten minute recess, after which you will hear your witness. Court is adjourned for recess. Huh. October 19th, 1104 AM, District Court, Defendant, Lobby, Number One. I must feel like I had to end up that way. Maybe I'm missing a piece of evidence that I could have collected or something like that. What do we do now, Mia? Yeah, Mia, isn't it? If everyone in that trailer has an alibi... I'm sorry, Phoenix. Guess I was wrong. M Mia? Don't tell me you're giving up. If you give up, what hope do I have? Don't get me wrong. I've never given up on a trial before. Not while there was a chance. Only one thing became clear in your cross-examination. The people in the trailer could not have gone to Studio One. I thought there was more to it than that. But I was wrong. That's all there is. Um... Uh, what's going to happen to me? It seems like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did it. I'm trying to think... Wait, 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 wait. I'm trying to think what Mia said there. Was... Hmm. This is the thing. 
Who cleared up the monkey head? And was the guy actually killed at Studio 2 and then moved to Studio 1? Because then he would have been killed at the right time and all that type of stuff. So he would have been killed at the right time and then they moved him? That would make sense. Hmm. They think I'm a murderer. That's maybe why I, I couldn't press the guy correctly, because I didn't have that piece of information in my head. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you are innocent, you will prove it. I guarantee it. Leave it to us and be yourself. Be strong. You are the steel samurai. Hero to children everywhere, after all. I... You... Thanks. Snip. Okay, Phoenix. This one's for the kids. Let's do it. Yeah, that's what she said there. It's just that sort of like... Oh! I got an idea. October 19th, 11.15am. District Court, courtroom number four. It's something I raised previously that I've just realised. Court is back in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution has a concern. As our witness is a grade schooler of tender years, and this is a murder case, we worry that the defence might cause unnecessary trauma with its cruel questioning. Nice to see Edgeworth taking the moral high ground. However, we have no choice. The prosecution calls Cody Hackins to the stand. He needs a booster. Your Honor, perhaps you could arrange a box for him to stand on. Oh, right. God, please bring him a box. One of those donut crates should do. Will the witness state his name and grade in school? Witness? What? Just because you're all grown up don't mean you can push me around. Ugh. Cody. Answer his question, okay? Hey, it's you, the nice lady. I'm Cody Hackins. I'm in second grade. I get the feeling this is going to be a long, long day. Mr. Edgeworth, please remember that you're speaking to a child. Be Try to be gentle. <laughs> Witness, uh, I mean, Cody. He's having trouble with this gentle thing. You were present, uh, you were at Global Studios on the day of the, uh, incident. You got a problem with that? I'll stab you. Please tell us what you saw that day. What, Pops? You want me to tell you and Gramps with the beard over there? Just, Mr. Edgeworth will be fine. I prefer bearded gentle a very long day. Incidentally, Photographic equipment is strictly forbidden in this courtroom. My apologies, Your Honor. He said he wouldn't testify if he couldn't bring it. I'd like special permission if that's possible. Wait, so you're saying you had to bark in terms of a kid and you lost? Hey, I just got this new camera. I don't really know how to use it all that good yet. But I bring it with me wherever I go. Phoenix, I wonder if he had that camera on the day of the murder. You'd better make a note of it in the court record. Oh, Cody's camera. Very well, Cody. Please testify to the court about what you saw the day of the incident. Witness account. I wanted to see a Steel Samurai rehearsal just once. I found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. I went through the woods, off the path, so that old lady wouldn't catch me. I was going for the studio. I got kind of lost on the way, though, for about 30 minutes. When I came out by the studio, there was the Seal Samurai. It totally rocked. Right before my eyes, out came the bad guy. Of course, the Steel Samurai took him down. Pow! If I had my camera with me, that would have been the time for a shot, I tell you. Anyway, I couldn't get into the studio, so I went home. Hmm. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. But be gentle. Remember you're talking to a child. This kid is tougher than most adults we see in here, honestly. Alright then. I wanted to see a steel samurai rehearsal just once. I found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. I went through the woods off the path so the old lady wouldn't catch me. I'm gonna press him on that a little bit. Off the path... Yeah, you know how the studios are in a valley there. 
If you go off the path a little, there's woods. That's where I was. I see. Anyhow... I was going for the studio. I got kind of lost on the way, though. For about 30 minutes. What time? You got lost in the woods? Yeah. I couldn't figure out which way I was walking. Man, was I relieved when I saw the blue studio doors. Blue? Guess what happened next? When I came out by the studio, there was the Steel Samurai. Which studio? The Steel Samurai? Yeah, he was standing by the studio gate. It looked like he was thinking about something before going in. I think he got lost and was actually at Studio 2. And he opened up the gate and went inside. I see. What then? It totally rocked. Right before my eyes, out came the bad guy. Of course, the Tsuyo Samurai took him down, pal. How? What happened to the bad guy? Huh? Well, he kind of didn't move. Not a bit. Like he was dead. Ah, I guess he's a real pro. What a great actor. Yes, I suppose he was. I had my camera with me. That would have been time for a shot, I tell you. Why did you not? Why did you not? If you had your camera. You mean you weren't carrying your camera then? No, I wasn't. It's not like I have it all the time. Really? I guess seeing the killing freaked him out, and he went home. Phoenix, remember he's a child. Use gentle words, but be firm. Easy for you to say. I wanted to see a hmm. I wanted to see a steel samurai rehearsal just once. I found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. I went through the woods off the path so that old lady wouldn't catch me. What can we present him with? That's the question. Hmm. Yes, we know he has this. I was going for the studio. Kind of lost on the way through for a few minutes. Came by the studios. There was the Steel Samurai. Totally raw trap before my eyes. Hacking the back guy. Plus Steel Samurai took him down. Pow. Had my camera with me. You did because you got a picture of it, didn't you? Your Honor, that statement contradicts this evidence. Hmm? It does? I don't see anything contradictory. Huh? Really? Objection overruled. Try to think before you make accusations, Mr. Wright. Ah! Whoops. That didn't go so well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That didn't go well at all. If I had my camera with me, I'm gonna have to present him with the camera. Hurry, what you just said seems, well... A little strange. Didn't you say before that? You always bring your digital camera wherever you go. You're quite clear about that. Huh? It's true. I mean, it's literally what you said, so... Aha! I like it when this music changes this. It's like we're on the right course. We're on the right course. Right, 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 right. So, Cody, you shouldn't lie here. You... Understand that, right? Mr. Wright, a word with you. Huh? A word with me? Uh-oh. Was I putting the pressure on too much? What is this digital camera contraption you're talking about? Really? 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 You don't know what a camera is. Alright. What is the digital... What is this... I don't even know what a digital camera is! You're meant to be in the future! Alright. It's, um, a digital camera, Your Honor. It's kind of a new sort of camera. It's in the future! How do I explain that? I see. Anyway, Cody. Can't believe you wouldn't bring your camera on a trip to the studios. You did bring it, didn't you? Um... Mr. Wright! How cruel you are to terrorize a poor child so! I don't care if he's a child or a prosecuting attorney. No one should lie in court. What do you mean, or a prosecuting attorney? Well, Cody. What? Yeah, so I had my camera. So what? Got a problem with that? <laughs> so you did have a camera. And did you use this camera? Why would I use it? I was too busy watching. Hmm... Anyway, well, please just write to the court about what you were so busy watching. Okay. 
yeah, I had my camera with me. But I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off it. The steel samurai, he he goes for the bad guy. Wham! Then the bad guy stopped moving. Okay. So strong, steel samurai rules. Hmm. Ah, is that all? Oh well, that was brief. Mr. Wright, your cross examination. Okay, I've got to be careful here. Yeah, I had my camera with me. Fine with that statement. When I was glued to the action, I couldn't take my eyes off it. Okay, so you're watching the whole thing. It's just Samurai, he goes for the bad guy. Wham. Then, then the bad guy stopped moving. Hmm. Why? Huh? What do you mean, why? Why wasn't the bad guy moving? Well, because the Seal Samurai brought him to justice. And how exactly did he do that? It's like, yeah, I want the details, like, how did he, st did he stab him? What did he do? How did he do it? With a Samurai kick and a Samurai punch, Samurai chop, Samurai slap. Something like that. You don't sound sure that you actually didn't actually see it. He's still being vague about this. What? Don't give me that look, Pops. How should I play this? Let's press him harder, because we need these details. It's, it's, yeah, it's a kid, but we need to press him harder here. Cody. What? Something's bothering me. Before you said that you couldn't take your eyes off the action. Yeah? So what? Yet you missed the most important part. Objection! What is the meaning of this? The witness has stated what he saw quite clearly. Objection! You know as well as I do that he's being vague. Tell me what kind of murderer uses a samurai slap. <laughs> My point is this. Cody, you may have seen some of the Steel Samurai's fight. But you missed the most important part, the killing blow. Order! Order! Mr. Wright, how could this be? Can you explain how he might have missed something so vital? Um, well, uh, that's the thing. Phoenix, I believe you're on the right track with this, indeed. Think, why didn't Cody see the climax of the fight? I know you. You can figure this out. Hmm. Mr. Wright, your answer. We have ascertained that this young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? Try and get a picture! Um, I, He was watching something else? Like he... Hmm... So he, he wasn't watching something else, he was... He'd be messing with his camera, wouldn't he? Because he'd want to try and get a picture of it. Because that's what he... Yeah, show evidence, we'll go with the camera. Your Honor, I have evidence. Evidence? Yes, Your Honor. Why did Cody look away from the fight? Here's my proof. What's that? The camera? The witness stated that he recently received this camera. Yes, I'm aware of that. I wasn't entirely familiar with its operation. I'm aware of that too. Ah! Correct. Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at that critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera. He was trying to take a picture. Hey! Bullseye. <laughs> What's your problem, Pops? You got a thing for picking on little kids? Pressing, not picking. Good job, Phoenix. But he was lying, clearly. Smart of you to realize there was no way he could just stand there watching his hero and not take a picture. Yeah, it was like... He, like, knowing he had the camera, he's like, he would try, wouldn't he? I mean, I would. Right. Cody, there was only one reason why you would have looked away from the fight. And that was because you wanted to take a picture. But having just received your camera, you weren't used to using it yet. So you missed the climax of the fight, correct? Yeah. Well, Phoenix... I'll bet you anything he's hiding more than that, clearly. Have him testify again. R right. Mia means business. Your Honor, the, 
defense would like to request that Cody Hackins testify once more. Very well. Cody, could you please tell us about your camera? And about why you didn't take a picture of the fight? Um, look into the real world, kid. Alright, no photo. Aw, oh, poor kid. Yeah, you're right, Pops. The Steel Samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain. So I held up my camera to take a picture. The lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. Yeah, makes sense. That's all that happened. Yep. Hmm, his face changed at that point. Hmm. Anything strange in that testimony, Mr. Wright? I'm not sure. But I'd like to proceed with the cross-examination anyway. No photo. Alright, watch his face, watch his face. Yeah, you're right, Pops. The Steel Samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain. So I held up my camera to take a picture. But the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. That's all that happened. Yep, his face changed the end previously. It changed the end, so I'm gonna press him on this one. That's all. Yeah, I told you I didn't take a picture. Hmm. I would have once I got the lens open. Did he really not take a picture? Hmm. Hmm. Nah, he definitely would have taken a picture, even if it was blurry or like. Yeah, it, it would have been a um, just a, a a simple like blank picture, wouldn't it? If he tried. There's got to be something here I can use. Cody, listen up, Cody Hackins. I know exactly what happened that day. You took a picture. Hey. Bullseye? How did you know? I see through all your lies, Cody Hackins. It's one of my powers. I'm just basing that on the face his face changed. Wow. This feels great. Yeah, yeah, I took a picture. Perhaps you can change your testimony to reflect this, Cody. I took a few shots, but it was too late. So I erased them. I don't think you would. Oh, you, yeah. You wouldn't. You wouldn't. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's a digital camera. He has them at home. He doesn't care about giving them away. He can reprint them. Objection! Cody. What? Man, every time you say Cody, you follow it with something bad. I just wanted to thank you for giving me this the other day. Huh? Oh, right. What was it you told me then? That you can reprint them. I've got to every live. I go to every live performance. I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands the final blow. Wazam! I got them all. I never missed one. A perfect collection. Ah ha ha! See, this is actually different from what I was expecting here. It's like I forgot this bit. It's just like no, I just he could reprint them. So it's like it doesn't matter if you erase them. Cody. Did you really get a picture of the Steel Samurai standing victorious over his foe? If you did, I find it hard to believe that you would just erase it. Don't you keep it for your album? Ah! Mr. Wright? What exactly is this album? Seems it's going a different way than what I expected, though. So it's like, I, I was thinking just the lines of like, no, it's digital photos, he'll still have a backup regardless. It's called Path to Glory. It's a collection of pictures of the Steel Samurai, all taken by Cody Hackins. He claims it's a perfect collection of every battle the Steel Samurai has won. I... I see. Don't you find this very odd, Jorun? Among all his pictures of the Steel Samurai, none were taken that day? Order, Mr. Wright. Give you an explanation. The Steel Samurai had just defeated his adversary. I certainly would expect to see a picture of it in this album. Exactly my point, Your Honor. No, wait, no way. Phoenix? Hope you finally discovered the truth. What a truth it is. M Mia? Are you sure about this? Did he actually... What? Yes. I'm pretty sure what you're thinking is right. What? I don't even know what we're thinking right now. Tell them, Phoenix. Tell them what the truth is. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what is going on here. Why was there no picture in the album from the day of the murder? I let the boy have erased the photos he took. 
which is blurry. Erase them by mistake. Oh. The Steel Samurai didn't win. I can think of only one reason, Your Honor. The Steel Samurai didn't win. That's why Cody deleted those photos. He'd have no reason to put them in, in the Path to Glory thingy. You mean the Steel Samurai... Lost? Well, Cody, I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth. The bad guy defeated the Steel Samurai. No way. No. It's impossible. The Steel Samurai never loses. He never loses to anyone. Ever. Your Honor, the witness has revealed everything with his words. There was a reason why he lied and told us he didn't take a picture. It's all about fan... About being a fan. Ugh! I was approaching it from such the wrong angle. Somehow still got there, but approaching it from completely a different angle. The same reason he erased his precious photos. For Cody, it was inconceivable that the Steel Samurai could be defeated. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the Steel Samurai lose. Yet to admit what he saw would destroy everything he believed in. Yeah, I... I didn't think of it that way. That's why he lied and said the Steel Samurai won. He couldn't handle the truth. Oh, really? Making that reference? Order! Order! I will have order! Will witness, I mean Cody. Is this true? What did you see? Tell the court what you saw. I... Yep, there we go. The suit has kicked in now. Cody. That day, you saw the Steel Samurai lose a fight, right? Uh, okay, okay, you're right. Steel Samurai fell down. Then he didn't move. Ah, I'm trying to think like, well, how does that work? Because then, if if it's still will powers, how does that work? Sleeping pills. Order, order, order. Yes. What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? The Steel Samurai was the murderer, not the victim. But according to your witness's testimony, the Steel Samurai was the one who fell. <laughs> Mr. Wright, what's going on? Apparently, we have all made a serious error. An error? What's this all about? Hmm. Hmm. Well, Hammer was the victim, there was no victim. It's like, well, we know someone was dead. So... I mean, the only thing that makes sense with, like, context of what we've got going on here is that. But, we're gonna find out, found, found out, find out if I'm right in the next part. Cliffhanger, yes. We'll see you then. Ta-ta. For now.